minutes to make a break. They've gone left, but he switch it, and there's a wiper kick. And it looks a good kick. Look at this. And this is where the tactics now, this, this upset half was good last year against us. That's a fantastic kick. And is that a 50-22? Or 50-20? <laughs> Show me age now. And it's not good enough from Steph. That's not good enough. It should be fielded a lot better. Poor from the start, boys. And this is going to make us look stupid. Munster have come here with great disrespect and they're being proved right. Good setup, Ruck. Almost central. They go right through McNichol. John Davis doesn't make much ground. That's quite poor from John Davis there as captain. You'd be expecting more of an impact from him. Almost stolen. Oh, as a penalty. He's lucky. That, I think it was more that he went off his feet. He was actually okay to come through. He came through okay through the middle, but he went off his feet. They don't seem to be looking at it. So, let's have a look. Good afternoon, all. Paul Price, nice to have you in here, pal. Uh, what an awful start. Non-existent defence from that kick. Should have been uh, covered. Exactly. I, I said exactly the same as it was happening. What was Steph? Steph Evans needs to be very, very careful. There's too many good wingers. He's lucky. People like um, uh, Cody Baldwin have got a knock. Um, uh, because, you know, he's close to being dropped. There's better wingers we've got at the, at the club. Defensively, you know. Yeah, he's scoring the odd try. But so are the other boys. You know what I mean? Uh, it's time for him to grow up a bit and realise, you know, there's more expected of you. Ah, oh, that's, that's a yellow card. That is a yellow card. He's dived in the side on off his feet to spoil the ball. There's a gap here and it should be a try. Steph to get into the corner. Oh, I don't think he made it. I don't think he made it. They're going to have a look at it. Well, those gaps came out of nowhere, actually, where suddenly we had gaps to run into out wide. Um, high kick comes in. Good take from Tommy the gun. Finally, he should be full back, not Johnny McNichol, because Johnny McNichol doesn't take a blooming single ball. That's a great take from Tommy Rogers. This boy... I mean, I know Munster's winger is uh, is a, is tasty as well, and I'm worried about if he gets ball in hand, especially if he's running against um, against Steph. So balls at the back here, yeah. almost a fumble, bit awkward for the scrum half. Oh, he's a bit hesitant. He goes to turn left, then he pirouettes. Spins in a long pass out wide right. Steph with a blimmin' miss pass there, man. Oh, Steph again. Every time. And I said, I'm worried about Alan, uh, that Munster winger because I've seen him playing and he's much the same. Steph Evans, I tell you, you're making all the wingers in this league look like Brian Abana. Come on. That is so poor. The, the winger had a... Look at this pass. The winger had a poor pass. It's one little step and you you should be nailing him into touch. Steph Van Evans, what are you doing? Get him off. Get him off. He's got to come off. He's been poor. Yes, he scored the odd try, but that is nowhere near the standard what's needed. Nowhere near. Now, here we go. What is Dwayne Peel going to do here now? Who's on a bend? I get him off now. I get him off now. What do you think, boys? He has to come off. He's not been playing well through three... I mean, there's, say there's like five aspects to win play, right? And, you know, obviously scoring, being able to score, you know, is one of them. And that's all very well. But there's positional play, there's kicking, there's, you know, fielding kicks, there's uh, support play. He, he's non-existent in so many other aspects. And one of them is defence in that that's not, that's not a big, big winger running at him there. That's a kid, right? And yeah, he's pretty quick. But he had the run on him. It's not like I left him for pace and it was neck and neck. He's standing in front of him and he goes round him in about two yards of space between him and the touchline. Put him into touch, man. Shocking. Absolutely shocking. He'd come in from his wing. 
He got away with it because it was a poor pass. The guy, the winger catching the ball, had to fumble with it first before he had hold of it. So Steph had loads of times of just lining up and hit him into touch. Shocking. Yeah, Jar says, didn't even have to hand him off. No, he was past him. It was a non-existent tackle. And he did, this is a run on, Steph did the same against Edinburgh. He made that winger for Edinburgh look like Brian Abana. There was him and Dan Jones. Very, very poor tackling. And the thing is, we need to have... Um, that there's consequences for performances like that. That you do lo you lose your place. Right, can Steph make up this now? Will he get on the end of this from Foxy? No. And Munster have stolen it. This is shock gameplay. I haven't even had a chance. I've been ranting so much and they're in again. They're in again, yeah. There you go. Forward, forward. Look like a forward pass. We are all over the place. If we get away with this, it's a miracle. I tell you what, boys, John Davis, they, people are going on about like Scott Williams and John Davis, ah, oh, that's great, oh, man. they're not playing well. And, you know, your eyes don't lie to you, they're not playing well. Look who's, look who's saving the team there, Sam Costello. Sam Costello is putting last ditch tackles in because our, our centres and our wings are nowhere. It's not good enough. Right, Johnny Williams has come on. Who's gone off? It's good to see Johnny. Is that Scott off? I, I, no, I want Tommy Rogers at full back. And if, uh, and then have the wingers uh, as Cornbier and McNichol. You need to swap McNichol and Tommy Rogers. Tommy Rogers is far better, far better football in brain, far more instinctive. Johnny McNichol, when he feels high balls, even if he catches them, he's dreadful. He, he gets us in trouble all the time. Uh, right, good night, yeah. After years of having turnover kings, uh, well, this is it. At seven, in Cubby, Barkley and McLeod, Dan Davis looks like it, yeah. And we're, you know, we're missing McLeod. But that's where you know, we've got one then. We've got one in McLeod and we've got no, nobody else really that's, you know, we've lost Jack Morgan, Barkley over the years, you know, could be not available. Oh, Munster could be in again, you know. Oh, Kurt, Sam's away. Sam's away. He kicks ahead. Johnny McNichol for the chase. The ball is choosing a line for him and he's over. Get in there, finally. I don't take what I said about Johnny McNichol back. It was a good score. He's done what's needed. But I'd still rather him on the wing, not the full back. But that's a good try and we needed that. Or Sullivan looks to get on the outside of Tommy Rogers. But Tommy Rogers shows Steph Eds how to tackle on the outside. He know he had far more space to run into. And it's a good turnover. Foxy kicks ahead. He's come off a Munster player. He's going to have to play it, which he does. And he kicks it out on the full. Little bit of a turnaround here. Little bit of a momentum swing. And let's see Phil Bennett's up for this in the crowd there. Um, I, I heard about this. I'm just going to go on what uh, Jar's be saying then. Uh, Jar's saying, Carol Vorderman is in the crowd. What more of a lift do our team need? Oh, I don't know. There is better lifts you could have. Like the one that took over from an old countdown. I can't remember her name now. The blonde one. But... Um, I heard this, somebody saying this in midweek that Carol Vorderman was going to be a Pakistan. Is she a Munster fan or a Scarlet fan? Or <laughs> what is she doing here? Um, I hope it doesn't become like a, you know, like full of mad Michael Jackson there and then they built a statue outside the ground. I hope we're not going to have a statue of Carol Vorderman outside the ground now. With weirdos going up and licking her feet and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so, kick good boys. Uh, but yeah, I was, I was saying... If any of you want to be involved in the channel, whether it's just recording something and sending it to us and we'll include it in a fan reaction, by all means, just tweet it to us or on Facebook or, or whatever, whatever handles we've got, they're all out there. Send it, we're on Instagram as well, Scarlet Fever TV, 
I haven't posted much up there, but that's mainly for if you want to send us a message and that's the format you want to do. Send us a little video of your match reaction um, or whatever uh, is, is on your mind. And we'll put them in a compli compilation and include them in, in our videos. There's gaps could be... Ooh. They're looking... I don't know, Munster are running and they, they can see all these gaps. We're not closing these in, in gaps around the ruck, man. What's happening? We seem to be falling out and leaving a huge gap. Oh, that's poor. I tell you what, Munster are capitalising on. They're capitalising. Oh, it's gone into the wing, he's in again. And that's how you finish it. That's a try. It's a well worked try. Similar to the one Steph scored in Edinburgh. Um, so this is a ding dong game, yeah, boys. Um, you gotta, you gotta feel that Scarlett's gonna have to seriously up their game. And this Calvin Nash, I've been watching him, and he's he's uh, caught me quite a few times playing for Munster. He's dangerous. He's on hat trick, and my my fears about him being given any space, well. They, they've come to fruition. He's missed the kick. So, half time, I hope we don't see Steph coming out because, like, I, I like Steph, but he's in a bad place. He needs to improve his game and he's not going to get better by being left out there. And he's, he's hurting the team. He's making poor decisions. They say, oh, this is scrappy. Is it off his foot? No. This is poor, boys. All round. These are British lions with, that are stacked in here. You know, you can't blame Munster, you can't blame the ref. We are absolute rubbish here. Absolute rubbish. Jason Palmer, I thought you'd be in. I thought you'd have something to say about this. And rightly so. Jace, 100% agree with you, pal. This is a, this is worse than the Edinburgh performance because in the Edinburgh game we were the better side, right? And Edinburgh were poor, but we were just falling off tackles. We dominated the game against Edinburgh. This we are being dominated here, and we are being a we're a low in it, uh, Munster. This is this is up there where you know heads need to roll. For this performance, this is. I tell you what, Dre needs to threaten them. It's like if you cut, if you don't improve, you won't wear this shirt again all season. Steph, if he does not improve in the second, if he is put out for that second half and he does not improve his tackling, because if he doesn't, that kid, that kid is going to score a trick past him. Look at it. They sure win it, yeah. And that kid is good. I knew about that kid before Calvin, whatever. I forget his surname. I like him. He's really, really good up and coming youngster. Up there with what we're seeing from Tommy Rogers. Tommy Rogers hasn't had a sniff. We haven't have given him any ball in ending. That's all Sam Costello and um, Tommy Rogers have done is covered, cover tackled for British Lions that have missed their tackles. Paul Price says send Steph to Quinns or Thunder Bay. He needs it. He needs to be sent out. Yeah, learn how to tackle properly, pal. Little catch the ball, pal, because it's not on. It's not on at all. 29 points. We are getting absolutely drilled, boys. We are getting drilled on all facets of play. There are British Lions here that should hang their heads in shame. Right? They're making ground at will. At will. Wherever they get attacked. Look at this. There's one missed tackle every drive. Come, no. I'm still laughing at us. They are absolutely laughing at us. You can't know that, know this week, boys, right? And, I, and this is me as well, right? No going in on any Munster fan laughing at us because they're right. They deserve. They've earned the right to laugh at us. They've earned the right to bring a second team to Parker Scarlet <laughs> and just stand there and go, what are you going to do? I know what answer to that is. Not much. Not much at all. But we're, we're being well and truly beaten here. Yeah, well beaten so far. Right away, I sat the tail. There's a little bit of motion here, but we need to use this. It's dying out. Don't let that ball get 
snag do you know? We need to use it. His hands in there from a side ref. Every time, and this is a bugbear, this is a bugbear of mine. Whenever we have a ball that collapses and we're struggling to get that ball back, everybody just stands there and lets it happen. It's a mall. You're allowed to mall. A mall, what's the description of a mall? It's not driving forward, okay? A mall is grappling other players. Get them out of there. You're allowed to grip them and throw them out. You know, it's not just about joining them all and pushing. That's a scrum, <laughs> right? A mall, you are allowed to grapple the other players. As long as you're on the right side, or you're through the middle, and you're legal. There's a lot of us seem to think that being part of a mall is just standing there and putting a shoulder in. You're allowed to maul. <laughs> you're allowed to grip a jersey of your opposition player and maul him. <laughs> ah, it's so frustrating when I walk. And you can see it happening and nobody's reacting to it. Uh, let's get back. <laughs> so this is red. Will Griff's on fire? Your defence is terrified. Will Griff's on fire? That deserved the readout. That did. <laughs> oh, and a scrum penalty for Munster. They won this, boys. I tell you what. It is fifty-six minutes. It is pointless. We be. It is pointless even carrying on in this game. We are beaten. We are a beaten team. And I'll be honest with you, we'd be lucky if the scoreline is this flattering to us by the time the final whistle goes. This could get messier. Absolutely disgusting performance. Hang your heads in shame from the top to the bottom of this club. Right? It's not good enough, boys. And I keep saying it. What, what more can I say? That hasn't been also said in the chat. And thank you for joining me, boys. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm looking for positives. Just find me a positive here. Find me a positive to talk about. You know, when they play you well, I get excited. I get behind it. And I do get carried away, right? But we all do that. All, all fans of all teams do that. But this, from what was hopefully going to be so not going to advantage to Munster. Look at the space this kid's got. He, oh, my good grief. Right, he picks the ball at 12, right, the, with the blonde hair for Munster. He picked the ball up, stood there for two seconds, looked left, looked right, ran backwards five yards, did a pirouette, came back, then decided to go a different way. And not one of our players tried to close him down. He had, like, ten seconds on the ball. Oh, he's too. Foxy just watching it. Foxy just watch ball watching as a flanker goes through on him. He's in. Ah! <laughs> You've got to laugh. You've got to hold your hands up and laugh. Foxy is gone. How they picked him as captain, I do not know. Right? On this form. And so, I have been waiting to get the knives out for Foxy here. I want him to play well. This is dreadful. He's watching a flanker go past him. You know... He knew that could have been a broken tackle there. Eh? We are falling off tacklers everywhere, boys. And he's mixed. And he's, he's, he's responsible for missing the final bit of it as well. Look, it's not just the initial tackle. He's made the break. Frank has kicked the head. Right? And he's missed that ball as well. Just not got it, boys. He hasn't got it to play at this, at this level. And what this level is, is Munster's second. Okay? Let that sink in. Foxy is not good enough to play at this level. He's proven it by what we're seeing on the picture. What have you got to say about this, boys? <laughs> um, I, I, said, I said about five minutes ago, rewind it if you want. I said we'll be lucky. I, saw, I could see it. We will be lucky if this stays as it is and doesn't get even worse. This has got 50 points all over it. Right? And too many times now, these players have been on the end of these alone. Dragons did it. Glasgow have done it. You know what I mean? All of them have done it. Edinburgh coming there and, you know, 
scoring will in the against us, like, you know? Apparently, we've got a defence coach from Ulster, uh, from Leinster. But he wasn't a defence coach. He was a skills coach, apparently. <laughs> you can't make it up, boys, right? You can't make it up. And I won't be shut down on Twitter, right? Because whenever I say these things on Twitter, the same old click massive bit bin to me again and trying to bully me into not saying things. Here you go, boys. This is what happens when you ignore what's in front of you. And Tommy Rogers, pity for him, like. I mean, well, well we can't replace Foxy. I, but I, even if we could, I'd leave him out there. You stay, don't save him. You stay out there and face this now. Enjoy it. Enjoy your last game. This way, you know, I, would, I would take the captaincy off him because it was a poor decision to make it. I think they made this decision as making him captain, hoping it would kickstart some form from him. Leinster, uh, Munster are bringing their thirds out now. They got bored with beating us with their seconds and now they're bringing their thirds on. <laughs> People are playing lot. Uh, well, yeah, ja, yeah, you're right. People are paying lots of money to watch them, right? They're not beyond criticism. People pay lots of money to watch them. And I tell you what, they won't be paying it for much longer. They won't. They'll, they'll stay at home and watch it on TV. Especially when, you know, when the bad weather comes in the winter. It's time to go. <laughs> I know, right? It's, and if you, if you had to make me into a character from Arsenal Fan TV, it would be tight, right? My mate Jess Palmer is clogged. <laughs> and, I, and we'd be like that on the bus. Ah, great. I'd be, Gareth Bowen will be fine. He just needs more time. My Kirkus is fine. He just needs more time. Right? And Jess would be there. He's got to go. <laughs> but so that's what we used to be like on the bus. Going to an away game, or on the way back from another defeat. Arguing on the bus. Uh, let's get back to the chat here. As the Scarlets make hard, hard work of trying to make a couple of metres. And there's a penalty in Munster. And to be honest, they probably kicked the corner. They've got no reason whatsoever to go for the posts. This game, with still just under 15 minutes to go was decided a long, long time ago. And some of you might be offended maybe if I'm being a bit... Uh, it's either I laugh or I cry live on YouTube. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> Not again. <laughs> oh, no. Foxy again. Just head down. No, hardly any yardage. Too easy, boys. We are so bad. Right? In every aspect of play. It's so worrying. I'm scared. I, and the reason I'm scared is because I've started this channel. That means, that means I've got to watch the game. So I can't switch off. You lot have got the option to switch this off. I am. I've got to somehow get through all this. Right? Which is good. I'm enjoying the channel. Now I slapped that forward. That's a yellow card. I, it's one of those. It's close. He's close to it. He's had to make a decision. Um, for some good... Let's, why, why we've got a break and play, we will remind you why we've got a few in here. Uh, please share and like um, our content, content with friends, family, blah, blah, blah. It really makes a difference with us. Tweet it, Facebook, blah, blah, blah. You know, uh, put it out there for us, please, guys. Um, but what I was going to say was, for a positive, because I, you know, I've got to be negative, otherwise I'd look a bloody fool here, right? I'd look a fool if I'm trying to say, Oh, well, it wasn't too bad. Better luck next time, boys. A Mawahid hashtag and all this, right? I'm sorry, I'm not going to do that. I can't. I can't. I find it ridiculous to do it, right? But to try and... I've been thinking in my mind while I'm commentating on this absolute horror show, right? Or I could say something positive. Well, I've got, I've got something positive. I'll remind you guys that during, once we get the Leinster game out of the way, we have confirmed that we're going to be doing a live interview over Zoom with Di Hodges. He is the first of, hopefully, many ex-players, cult figures that we're going to have in, in on the channel where we're going to be interviewing uh, me and Chris. We're going to be interviewing these ex-players we we've only confirmed Diodges, first of all. We were hoping he's going to start the ball rolling. He has 
like within a minute of asking him, we 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 sent the message over Facebook. Within one minute of asking, he said, "Yep, when you want to do it." And he he was more enthusiastic than we were, and we were like, "Oh, right, uh, uh, just give it a couple of weeks." And we said, "Let us get it all organised." Um, so, as a positive, boys, we have got. Uh, some interesting content and we're going to try and time it for when the internationals are on so we've got a bit of scarlet content to bring out while there's no games basically um so we're going to try and time it for the, the probably for the week after the leinster game but uh we'll be probably trying to get in contact with die um to run over some basic questions we'll try and put something up so that fans can put pre questions to him but also it's going to be open to a live chat for you guys to just talk um and if there's anybody within reason if there's anybody interested we could probably put another one or two on the zoom call if you want to be present on the zoom call with us because so far it's me chris and diodges well obviously we're going to fit more than one camera on the screen so if any of you are interested in being part of the interview uh with Di Hodges, he's currently in Texas from what we uh he's split between Texas and um Colorado uh, so we've got that coming up guys and we're excited about that we're excited about um the channel in general as well we know where you know, we're starting this channel you know like it could go one way it could go the other but hey it's performances like this and, and um that they've elevated Arsenal Fan TV and Mark Obridge to where they are. They didn't get their channels going that well through winning things that they did. So from a channel point of view, well, perhaps it's a good thing, I don't know. But uh, I'm certainly not... I prefer it to be the Scarlet Swindler, I tell you, I know. And that the, the channel only has about two views. <laughs> That's it. All over. Oh, it's starting off to the nursery, yeah? And this prop loves it, look. Little dig, little dig, little dig. Here we go, he's going to kick off. A little bit of a scruff, scuffle after the game. It's still going on. It's still scuffling. It's no good caring now, Scarlett. You know, we saw this in the first half that this was on the cards. You can't win, you know. You've actually shown more fight after the whistle than what you did during the game. I don't know. Uh, let's get back to the comments, yeah? But yeah, so... Just remember what I said about uh, the Diodges interview is going to be coming up. We will be posting more information about it once we get it. But while you're all in here, I'll start to uh, mention that. Yeah.